What is up everybody, I'm your host Express here, and today I'm going to be showing to you guys a bunch of attachments that I think are really good for certain submachine guns. So today I'm going to be using the MP7 as an example for this. So we're going to be looking at all the attachments here, I'm going to be able to tell you guys what attachments are good and what situations to help you squeeze out the maximum amount of kills that you can try to get with a certain gun. So here we're going to be looking at the reflux site first, and the reflux is a really good site if you're trying to just like upgrade the sites in case as some kind of a shitty site but uh, I don't really find that many of the sites in the submachine gun category are bad other than the Scorpion Evo and the Shycom so if you're trying to find a site to use I would use the reflux site because it's, it's really good up close and it's, it's nice to fire people out with that nice site instead of using the iron sites is a lot nicer the next attachment here that we're looking at is the laser sights, and the laser sights basically allows you to hip fire a lot better and spray the crap out of anyone that comes into your path. So definitely really good for all the submachine guns, I think. So I definitely recommend if you have an extra spot on your submachine gun to put that on. The next here is the suppressor, and this allows you to run around the map as a ninja if you have ghost on, or if not, that's fine. You can still run around the map as a ninja because the odds of the enemy having a UAV is very, or not slim, but it's like lower than normal, they're not going to have it up like 100% of the time, so you, you still can run around with that suppressor, and it's really nice that they, they don't know where you are because you're using that suppressor, and it doesn't show up on the radar, so it's really nice. Next we have the fast mag here, I recommend this for all the submachine guns, other than the PDW, because the PDW doesn't seem to be reloading as fast as I thought it was with the fast mag so I definitely recommend using this on any gun that comes out the clip with the bottom so things like the Scorpion Evo and the MP7 and the MSMC those are really good to use this fast mag with it's really nice to be using cause it it gets that real fast quick reload and stuff like that and it definitely pulls out a lot of kills for you next we have the ED Tech site here and this comes with a range of attachments here for the reticules and I think that if you get up on the higher reticules they get a lot better but some of some of them are really silly you can play around with ones you think that are good but that really is a good site if you're using the grip attachment I believe so the foregrip here as I was talking about earlier is a really nice attachment here and this is because it decreases the amount of kick they have on your gun so it it pulls your accuracy down to where you're actually shooting instead of making you fire up into the sky. And the next attachment here is quick draw. And this is really good for a lot of submachine guns because you're running around with those submachine guns and you get in the really tight corners and stuff and you need to pull up your gun as quick as you can. So this is definitely recommended for any submachine gun. So I definitely recommend putting this on. FMJ here. It speaks for itself, full metal jacket, allows you to penetrate through walls. So if a kid's like running into a doorway, this helps you like, if you're not one of those guys that can kill him real quick, that you might be able to get him through the wall. So this would be definitely recommended for the PDW because of the bolt size, or the clip size that they have on the PDW. So that's definitely nice to have if you're trying to get kids through walls and stuff like that. The long barrel here, not very recommended because uh, submachine guns really don't shoot that far, so it's not that nice to have on any of your submachine gun classes but you can play around with that if you're good with it then that's cool with me and the next tier is the target finder it gets that red box around you when you're playing so if you're like looking down the sights and the kid only pops his leg out you'll show like a red box around him and that could possibly like save your life if you didn't know the kid was there so I definitely recommend putting on the target finder for the MP7 because the MP7 is really nice with this. I've done mad work with it, so I definitely recommend putting that on. Next here is the stock, and the stock allows you to move side to side real quick while aiming down your sights. So it's kind of like Stalker from MW3, and not too much with the uh, submachine guns, but definitely with the assault rifles, I recommend putting this on because you do move pretty fast with those. So, or not with the assault rifles, with the submachine guns, you move pretty fast already with the, without the stock attachment. Next here we have the extended clip. I recommend putting this on for anything that has a low clip. So definitely anything other than the PDW, because the PDW has a huge clip. So don't put it on the PDW. Select fire here. I definitely recommend putting this on the shitcom, 
because of the three round burst you can upgrade it to make it full auto so that's really nice to have and then the rapid fire here I don't recommend putting this on for any of the guns uh, you can play around with it yourself but it's definitely gonna make you shoot into the sky unless you have a foregrip on so I definitely recommend putting on that if you have a foregrip the MMS site here allows you to shoot or not really shoot but it like shoots a radar out and you can see kids behind en or enemy walls or stuff like that so you can see kids behind walls if they're sitting there so it's a really cool site if you actually have it so I definitely recommend putting this on it allows you to find out kids where they are inside houses really good on Nuketown if you're looking behind buses and stuff like that but that's pretty much it for this video guys I hope you like this commentary on mp7 attachments attachments for all the recommended uh, submachine guns so Please remember to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. This is X Preston signing off. See you guys later.